So I found, I think, again, and everything that I'm saying um, kind of really ties back into your overall strategy, the niche that you're in, and um, I guess the, whether you're a B to C or a B2B business. Um, in terms of what works best, um, I find um, taking kind of like a two-step approach or looking, looking at your advertising on Instagram in two ways um, works really well. So the first way is basically looking at uh, people that are brand aware. Uh, or people, members of orders that ran away, like I mentioned earlier. So these people that like it, English, people that follow you on Facebook, may or, or uh, like you on Facebook, follow you on Instagram, and then are you co- looking at your cold audience as a separate uh, second part of your approach to Instagram? So um, what you want to be doing with your um, your first audience, the brand aware audience, is you want to be basically um, talking to them or um, trying to move them to either. Um, move them along your customer journey to either sign up to a lead magnet, whether it's, you know, a free ebook or a free blueprint or checklist or hack list or whatever, um, because you already have a relationship with them and they're going to have a high propensity to trust you and be like, oh, this is actually of value. I'm going to try and sign up to this lead magnet, which is eventually related to the ultimate product or service that you're trying to sell them. Um, and that's kind of how I'd approach very generally, uh, how I'd approach uh, people that are brand aware and uh, people that are not brand aware. So if these are people that you know, don't aren't on your email list, they're not in your, uh, in your funnel, they don't like you on Facebook, they've never heard of you before, um, totally cold to your business, um, I would reverse engineer whatever it, whatever it, whatever it is um, that your core, core offer is. So let's say you're trying to sell, um, let's say you're trying to sell, um, financial consulting services, right? Or let's say you're trying to sell um, digital marketing services. Let's say you're trying to sell Instagram ad services, right? And um, you want to basically target small business owners that are in a B2B vertical um, to get them not only to trust you and build authority with, authority with them, but ultimately to buy your service that you're offering, which is Instagram ad management. So I would start at the end and work my way back. So if the goal is to sell Instagram service management, uh, and Instagram ads service management, that's the product core offer that I'm selling. And for that, I'm trying to think of, you would then think about, about a lead magnet you can create to promote um, those services that lead to the services. So I would think of something like, uh, I don't know, eight Instagram, like a, eight ultimate in, uh, hacks for Instagram ads, like an ebook, right? And then I would have that ebook, and that would be my lead magnet, which in order to get my audience um, would have to give me their contact details, email, phone number, first name, last name, whatever, um, you know, the fewer the better, uh, in order to kind of get that value from me. Uh, and before that, at the very, very top of my funnel, in terms of using Instagram as a gateway drug to my content to eventually selling my services, I would run a bunch of carousel-based Instagram ads that are super sexy, that are... Um, really, really well put together, speak the language of Instagram, that use emoji, that's, you know, uh, insight, uh, promoting some kind of blog article related to the, e-magnet, the lead magnet that I'm trying to promote. So essentially the, the customer journey would, uh, on it, from a customer point of view would be like, okay, I don't know about business X. Then I go on Instagram and business X, I see a really cool, sexy carousel ad from business X. Oh, I want to learn more about maybe it's like a, a, a carousel ad promoting a listicle, right? Like a listicle being like top X ways to, uh, B2B businesses can use Instagram to get new leads. So, oh, cool. Well, I'm a B2B business. I want to you know, get new leads. Uh, I'm going to scroll through this carousel ad, click on the uh, click on one of the really sexy images, and then I go to the website. I go to the business's website. And I read, oh, cool. These are some really cool tips. I think I might want to use them. And then inside the article, Cool. There's lead matches, um, you know, eight Instagram uh, ad hacks uh, for small businesses. And I'm like, oh, sounds like something I could use based on uh, the content that I've just said. Um, I can either choose to download it and give them my contact information, or I can choose not to download it. Now, if I choose not to download it, what, the, uh, what the, you can do is retarget the people that didn't download the lead magnets, that didn't download or didn't give you their contact information in the future, maybe of the next three days, to try and get them to eventually give you their contact information for that ebook that you're trying to give them. You can do that on Instagram as much as you can do it on Facebook too. Uh, and then the whole, the whole idea is to kind of like escalate people up this customer journey, um, customer value ladder, I guess, by offering them incremental pieces of value until ultimately they're like, actually, I think you guys know what I'm talking about. So you can sell me your B2B services. 